Okay. Um, good morning, everybody. This is Willie Crawford, and uh, I'm joined today by my friend Troy Warren, and we want to tell you about a uh, a new project that we've been working on, or that we are working on, and it's called Local City Places. Uh, I've known Troy for, I don't know, what, about 15 years now or longer? We Well, actually, I think it's longer, Willie. Good morning. Uh, I think we officially met in 2005. Okay. Um, online, but if you recall, and we're going to talk about this uh, in this video, but um, I didn't know it at the time, but you actually were on my first platform in 1997 Free called Free Yellow. I didn't know you were there at the time, but uh, and we have many friends, uh, mutual friends that were on that platform too. So it it actually goes back to 1997. Yeah, it does. It does. It certainly does. And um, my, my first few sites were actually on free pla platforms that gave you free hosting, but they made their revenue from advertising. So, uh, yes. Yeah. So we go back a long way. Uh, why don't we just go right into telling people about uh, local city places? You know, um, it, it's your baby. And so uh, I don't yeah. know where to start. Uh, we could start by telling them how, how it's different from other platforms, I guess. Yes. Well, um, where it was all born, Willie, was um, I, I wanted to see what, you know, people were actually doing. What do they do online? What is it that they're looking for and what is it that they want? And of course, you know, I'm singing to the choir with you, but, you know, local search is a very big industry. Yes. And so, you know, of course, Google is the the, the biggie, probably always will be. And, uh, and I think it was actually the year that we officially met in 2005, I think is when uh, Google bought YouTube. And they needed to, but now since they own them, then there's um, literally, um, I think YouTube, I think it's still the case. I haven't looked at it lately, but I, Google's always been number one. And then YouTube is number two as far yes. as the traffic. And I think now currently Facebook is. But um, local search is very, very big. And then one of the biggies that helped us determined that we were going to build this platform, Local City Places, was Yelp, actually. And, you know, sometimes, Willie, you and I have thought that somebody would have a habit of doing something and they didn't and they do something else. Sometimes it's strange to see what they actually do yeah. versus what you think they're going to do. And uh, just some quick stats about Yelp, which... I believe is the the biggest review site probably on the planet, I believe now. The biggest one I'm familiar with, yes. Yes. Um, to this date, um, now we're in 2024, the new year, and uh, their current stats are still growing strong. They have nearly 200 million unique visitors a month wow. to uh, their platform. Now, they are global, but to put that into perspective, 98% of that traffic is coming from primarily the United States, and then the second one is Canada. Okay. So that's uh, where they come from. And uh, now the revenue, this is incredible, the revenue, I think Yelp finished last year, which was just moments ago, 23 at around a billion and a half dollars. And these are people that, these are customers of merchants that are literally wanting to give their review of their experience with the merchant, whether it yes. was the restaurant, whether it was the retail store, whatever it was. And I will tell you, food is the primary because America has a love of food and going out to eat. So that's going to be the predominance. And so there's just hundreds of thousands of reviews that are given there. And so that set us on a new course to build the platform because we wanted to build something that wasn't so new and trying to create a behavior. Yeah that we didn't know whether it would work or not. So the reason that I bring up Yelp here first is 
we kind of describe our platform as a Yelp on steroids because yeah. we have many differentiators. So, so really, um, now that we know those numbers and, and they continue to grow at Yelp, then local city places, we do much of the same. We're, we're a local search engine. Um, we're just doing this in the United States right now. We're, we've got a fence around the United States that also does include, which you know, uh, the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico and also Alaska and Hawaii. And currently we're almost at 650,000 places, which are merchants, okay. uh, most mostly brick and mortar type merchants, which are your restaurants and your hair salons and car washes and you know, things that you go out and do in your community, pretty okay. much they have a store that they're renting and they're a brick and mortar type business. Makes sense. So, and I don't know if some people know this, but I'm a data guy, as you know, going way back into the 80s. So in America, there's nearly 27,000 um, cities, towns, uh, suburbs, census designated areas. That's that's a lot. Um, I think about half of those might have a population of less than 5,000, maybe even okay. less than 1,000. But the other half, uh, probably about 3,000 of those cities are in that 10,000 all the way up to maybe, you know, like New York City is the biggest um, with what is it? New York City has uh, nearly 9 million now, I think. Yeah. And but they, you break them down into boroughs and stuff, too. But yeah. Yes, yes, exactly. It's interesting how people decided whether this was going to be a town, a city, um, a suburb, a census designated area. But there's nearly 27,000 of those. And we have over 1,300 categories. Okay. Um, so that and and those categories are broken down into you have a parent category and then you have a subcategory and what i mean by that is restaurant would be a parent category and then a subcategory under restaurant would be the cuisine type so for example right. you have you know japanese mexican steakhouse you know american food that that type of thing yes. and that works the same with a lot of businesses so like with a car dealer a car, a new car dealer is the parent category, but then you have Ford and Chevy and Honda and, you know, all the different makes. So those okay. are the, the subcategories. So what we've done here, Willie, is, you know, it, it would work the same as Yelp, where somebody can come and do a review on a business. And, but the big differentiator, um, I'll talk about the merchant side first, and okay. then we'll then we'll go into the member side, but on the partner side, the uh, what I've always noticed, Willie, and I know you have too, is that whether it's Facebook, whether it's Google, whether it's Instagram, whether it's Groupon, whether it's Money Mailer, Valpac, I could just keep on going with all those yes. <laughs> advertising platforms. Um, they will take everybody's money and essentially pit competitors against each other, which is very interesting to me. And it, and it creates a very pressure type situation for, and what I mean by that, for example, um, Willie, you're in Florida, you're in Niceville. So right. let's just say that, um, you know, there's 25 dentists in Niceville. I don't know, there might be more, but let's just say there are. And, um, those platforms will allow every single one of those dentists to come onto the platform. And I don't know about you, but I get Valpac in the mail, you know, with the envelopes and the slips yes. and all that. And what's typical here in Chandler, Arizona, where our headquarters is and where I live, is when I open that, I'll see about 10 garage door repairs and 10 of this and 10 of that. Well, what happens is that really breaks down because what we're doing is we're pitting competitors against each other. And that's a very untenable situation. And what ends up happening from that is instead of the consumer 
looking and paying attention to quality who might be better mm -hmm. to to help me it's now becoming price well garage door a business says they'll do it for this and garage door b will you match the price well what if garage door b is not as good or right. versa and and so now the consumer gets lost in that pricing instead of getting done what they really needed to get done and get a quality job. So one of our huge differentiators on our platform is there's only one of each business in each category in each city. Okay. So I just used a dentist example in your city, which is Niceville. There's only going to be one and therein begins the magic with the merchants because they don't have to feel anxious now that they're being pitted against their competitors because if dentist A has uh, teeth cleaning for $99 and dentist B has $49 and they're on the same platform and all these members and all these consumers are saying, well, why would I go pay $99 when I can pay $49? So on our platform, there's one dentist, one set of offers, and that's it. And then one chiropractor, one car wash. And when we get into the cuisines, like I was talking about with the restaurant, so there won't just be one restaurant in Niceville, but there would be one Japanese, one Mexican, one American, one Chinese, and so okay. on and so forth. So what you then begin to create is a collective and a group now that actually are all referring each other without lifting a finger and without saying a word. Why? Because what happens is it's just like the Amazon thing. I, I call this the Amazon effect. So okay. when, when somebody's coming to buy the Chinese special deal or the gift card on our site, um, down below, there'll be a row of other merchants, which are non-competitive, that will say, you may also like, or it may say, people that bought this Chinese gift card also bought this in tandem with that. So what right. ends up happening is all of these merchants effectively, without them having to do the work, are referring each other. And here's something else to note. These are buyers. These are members and consumers that are buyers because they're buying that Chinese restaurant gift card. Right. So they have money in hand. They're ready to go. They know what they want. And then they trip over all of the other offers. So what we decided to do was just turn that on its head. And will you be able to find other Chinese restaurants in Niceville? Yes. But in our search engine, in the search results, when you search on, you know, like a Chinese restaurant, you'll have the showcase featured merchant. That's the exclusive okay. part that I was just talking about. And then under that, you'll have more, what we'll say, more Chinese restaurants, and those will be text listings. So you could still go visit them. Those Chinese restaurants aren't being promoted in the same way that the featured showcase one okay. is. We're recommending that to our audience. So that's the huge differentiator from the merchant point of view and why they want to be involved here. And when they do get involved, Willie, uh, we already know we can perform the magic for them because what they really want, you know, I would tell you, I've heard this a lot, so I'm not going to, this isn't my opinion, but I'm going to tell you that I've talked to lots of merchants that don't like Yelp mm -hmm. and they don't like Yelp because they're being pitted against their competitor. Right. So they have that sort of love-hate relationship with Yelp. But I'll tell you why they still go there. They still go there because they know there's lots of traffic and eyeballs there. So they feel like they can't ignore that. It's the same with Groupon. You remember when Groupon was really big in the day. Yes. I remember when... I think it was Google that offered to buy Groupon for $6 billion and they turned it down, which was a mistake back in that day. Yes. 
But with Groupon, still to this day, they've they've gone down, uh, but not so much so. I mean, back in the day, they had 50 million users, and now they've gone down to like maybe 25 million. But they just finished up 2023 with a uh, billion dollars still. But it's not a good proposition for the merchant because... Groupon wants the restaurant, for example, to, you know, maybe it's uh, $50 worth of food for $25. They want right. that 50% off. But where it's not really conducive and good for that merchant is then the $25 that is collected, Groupon wants half of that, leaving the restaurant with what? $12.50 to fulfill that $50 in food. Yeah. The other thing that they didn't ever do was teach the merchant and Groupon never offered to help the merchant with engaging that mm. first time visitor. So what ended up happening is they turned into deal seekers. Yes. And they weren't coming back the next time. So with our platform, we don't do that at all nothing like that. So we have a lot of magic for the merchant where, uh, and including in their package where we help the merchant engage that user. So after they buy the gift card deal, which would be a special deal. And by the way, um, we don't have a 50-50 deal with the merchant. We have an 80-20 in their favor. They're getting 80% of that. So Good. it's not a bad deal for them. But after that campaign, they've built a list. And you know, because you're a master list builder. So once you've built that list of buyers, now we're going to engage them. And, and maybe it's not a, a big, big special deal in the future, but it could be that, hey, uh, Wednesday lunch in between 11 and one, you get 20% off today and yeah. only in between that time. And so you engage them and they're thinking, yeah, that works for me on Wednesday. So I want to go there. So there's a lot of goodies for the merchant, but our big differentiator there is the magic of only one per category. Okay. And when you measure that, and so now the reason I wanted to say that first before I talk about the member, the real magic, which I know you're excited about on the member side of this, because we are doing something that I don't believe has ever been done here before yet. Um, so on the member side, remember I said Yelp has, um, I don't remember the number. I, I know it's tens of thousands and it may be several million. I do know that Yelp has now almost 6 million merchants in okay. their database now. So that's very big, but they have tens of thousands, maybe millions of uh, consumers, members that are doing reviews. So what we did is something very special, as you know. So as a member, yes, we're the same as Yelp, where you're giving that review. And you sign up as a free member on our platform, and we ha it has a social media aspect to it. So you can bring your friends and you can follow people that are also doing reviews as well. And But the difference is that when you do a review, if you're the first to do to have done a review for that uh, business, that merchant, anywhere in the United States, then something happens on the back end. Because in our system, we receive that review. And by the way, we moderate that review to make sure that nobody's gaming the system and nobody's trying to attack a competitor by right, right. a bad yeah. review. So, so I just want to bring that up. We do moderate those. However, when that review comes through, we at corporate are looking to see if that merchant is already in our database, which it could be. And if not, we will add that to our database and then we at corporate will begin to reach out to that merchant to let them know that reviews are coming in on their business and people are talking about them. So, and of course, 
that raises an element of mystery with the merchant and they want to know who's talking about my business and what are they saying. Right. That's how we engage the merchant. And then we begin to let them know how they can be on our platform and how they can get a lot more of what they just saw here and that traffic coming through the door. That's when we also talk to them, Willie, about the possibility of coming on the platform. However, and the exclusivity part of it, which is very attractive to them, right. but they literally can get started with us for a dollar. So they don't need this huge advertising budget. And you and I both know many of them who have, you know, done something and they're saying, I hope this is the one crossed fingers because I need more foot traffic. I need right. more butts in the seat at the restaurant, whatever that is. And then how many times do we know that they're dismayed because they spent a thousand dollars or three thousand dollars or something and it just didn't work and they lost money? Well, with us, we already know what we can do for that merchant. So I already know in advance that I can give them a leg up and I can drive traffic in. And we'll talk about that in a moment, too. But it all starts with a dollar. And therein is my confidence that I know what I can do for that business because it's one dollar. So, which is practically no risk at all. Y yes, it, it. I call it better than risk free because it. You know, if they have a business partner or a spouse, they don't ever want to go and say, "Oh, I spent a thousand or two thousand dollars on this, and if it didn't work, then of course you know what they're going to say, Willie. They're you're going to be in, embarrassed, and you're going to say you're a dummy. Why did you do that? Yeah. And for a dollar, that's not an embarrassing mistake. And even if they're thinking, yeah, I've been through this before, um, but for a dollar, I know what they're thinking. Well, what if Troy is right? Then I really don't have anything to lose. And they love the idea of keeping the competitor out. So a lot of this has to do with Wow, I get an opportunity to be the focus. I need I get to be in the headlights. My competitors are gone. And so you sort of have bragging rights with that. So yes. So it starts with a dollar. We do all of our magic. And uh it's a dollar for 30 days. And then after that, the base package is $99 a month, which is usually nothing to a brick and mortar type business that already has employees and staff and they pay rent on a store. It's, it's still nothing, but I still want them to feel that so that they can experience that magic. And what happens Willie at that point is I've already put the $99 in their drawer from the magic that we did. So when our invoice comes, I've already given them the money to pay that invoice. And right, right. their next right. logical question is, can we do that again next month? And the answer is yes, we can keep on doing that over again and again and again, wash, rinse, and repeat. And so, if they don't, then their, their competitors can step to that spot. <laughs> yes, exactly, exactly. And and so that's part of the magic as well. So they they want to stay here for the long road. Part of the package, by the way, in the promotion is every merchant, um, we will lease to them a custom domain name that will get indexed in Google. So let's just say we were talking about the dentist in Niceville in your city. So when that dentist comes aboard, part of that package is we will go get the domain name dentistniceville.com. I'm not saying that's available. I don't know. I'm not looking, but it will have right. the category and it will have the city, the location in the domain name. And we've already tested this and we already know that Google loves that because they follow those links. And so now they have a domain name that's always going to be on the first page when somebody is searching dentist Niceville. So we own that domain, they're leasing it of sorts, but as long as they're here, they get the value of that. And so now we're bringing traffic from Google. That's not our main source of traffic, but it's additional traffic that comes in from Google. Right. 
So on the member side, now I'm going to go back a little bit and reverse that and say, okay, remember, maybe it was you doing the review, Willie. And that merchant that we engaged when you did that review is saying, I want to do this. I love this. So when that merchant comes aboard, here's where the magic is that nobody is doing in the marketplace, including Yelp. And that is that we've already tagged you to that merchant because you did the review. And you know this because you've seen the back end of the system. And so now when that merchant makes the decision to come aboard, because of their engagement from corporate, not the engagement from you. So I just want to make this distinction. You just simply, you know, rated your experience with that merchant. And then corporate local city places took over from there and engaged the merchant. When they come aboard, this is where the magic is. And this is, I believe, what we're going to change in the industry. So now we have a whatever you want to call it, Willie, it's a super affiliate program. We could call it network marketing because it really is. Um, not to be in, misunderstood, though, with a lot of other perceptions that people have about right. this industry. Um, but magically, when that merchant decides to come aboard and they pay their first $99 and every $99 bill or whatever else they purchase from local city places, you, because you were the direct referral through the review, remember, you didn't talk to the merchant. You didn't have to sell the merchant. You didn't have to call them up and do any of that. Corporate did all of that. As a thank you from corporate, we're going to give you 20% of that $99 every single month that goes by, not one time every single month that goes by that that merchant is here. And that's what I really, really liked about this this whole concept is, you know, the, the uh, partner or the reviewer isn't selling anything. It, it doesn't have to even talk to the merchant. You yeah. do all the work for them, and then they make money off, off, on the back end. That's uh, that's not done anywhere else that I'm aware of. Y yes, and, and you would be right because we've studied this a lot, and we believe we're going to make a big splash in the industry, whatever you want to call that industry. And here's what even gets better, Willie, and you know this now in advance, but it's affiliate marketing, network marketing, whatever you want to call it. Um, when I was in college, I went through hotel motel management training, and they always told us that a motel is one story and a hotel is two stories and above. Mm -hmm. And in affiliate marketing, I'm always told that affiliate is two oh, tiers oh, or less. Yes. And if it goes beyond two tiers, then it's MLM or network marketing. So here's where I'm going to reveal it is up to six tiers based on the qualifications. So I guess we could call that network marketing. Um, and each of those levels. So you are the first tier. So what I just explained with the merchant, um, you referring that merchant. So that's you on tier one. That's where you get the 20%. Right. And then tier two is 10% and then tier three, four, five, and six. Five and six are bonus tiers, but tier three, four, five, and six are 5%. Right. So when you add that up, it adds up to a possible 50% that is paid out. Now, that's where it really gets nice because where I think we're going to do and and you live in the perfect city because when I say nice, I think of Niceville where you yeah. live. So nice this is Niceville nice now. Nice weather. Yes, exactly. Um, so what happens is now when we go examine what just happened, you were able to participate in the opportunity. And most opportunities, as you know, there's usually an investment. Here, no investment. Um, nobody has to be convinced to do something new or even get out of their comfort zone, which is a problem for most people, as we know, human, human habit and behavior. 
So what you did is you did a review on literally uh, somebody or, or a restaurant or whatever, or a dentist or whatever it was. A barbershop. Yes, <laughs> that you had a good experience at. And so now you're rating it. So you're already doing this. So what I say to people is, how would you like to get paid for something you're already doing? So therein starts the magic because there's no products or services to purchase. There's no investment. There's no auto ships. That's typical in network marketing. Right. There's no recurring credit card charges. You don't, in fact, you'll never use your credit card. And then the biggie, there's no selling because you didn't have to talk to that merchant. You went and used that merchant, but you didn't do, you, you didn't have to call them, sell them and say, hey, I'm gonna go on local city places. You might wanna check it out. You do not need to say that. In fact, I would say, Willie, that it even works better if you don't say that. In fact, Fine. I'm gonna encourage the member not to say that. So, that's where it really, the magic starts to begin. So then after we get to that part, and now the next part of this magic, Willie, is remember I said, um, how would you like to get paid for something that you already do? So now right. we've revealed that part. So we all do these things, whether we go to the dry cleaner, the car wash, or like you said, the barbershop or wherever we're going or the restaurant. And we do them at different intervals. Some people go out to eat 10 times a week. Right. Some people go out to eat two times a month. But regardless, you're already doing this. You don't need to think. You don't need to be pushed out of your comfort zone. And all you're doing is doing a review on whatever it is that you are already doing. Yeah, you're already telling people about your experience with places that you've been to, whether it's positive or negative. That's right. And so therefore, that to me is magical because you're already doing that. And when we talked about earlier about nearly 200 million unique visitors a month to Yelp, that's already proof of concept. We already know millions of people are doing this. Amazon was a very big part of reviews that rose up in the industry too, because now, yeah. as you know, businesses live and die on reviews now. And so they really depend on them. And so they wanna do the best that they can do. So this is, this is a good thing. So now that second question that comes up is now I can say, Willie, do you know others who would like to get paid for what they already do? And the answer is most times would be yes. So now you can tie that together to wash, rinse, and repeat. Now, when you're referring other members, which by the way, we call partners, um, not affiliates, but partners, when right. you refer others to do the same, that's where those tiers come in. So when you refer others who are direct, your direct referrals, those are your tier two. Right. Whoever they refer is your tier three and so on and so forth. So like when you refer somebody directly and they go do a review on a merchant and that merchant comes aboard at that $99 a month, they're going to get 20% for that effort, and you uh, are going to get 10% for that effort because it's on your tier two. So every month that merchant is there, you're going from the $99, you're gonna get $9.90. And by the way, this is all, as you know, in a dashboard at local city places, it's all there, it records everything live so that you know, and so then it keeps on going. And so there's there's uh, up to six tiers. The free partner um, is entirely free. That goes up to four tiers. And then we'll talk about another time, but there is additional, there's an additional uh, tier five and tier six, which is called the super partner. And that's optional, but it's 
really exciting because this is for anybody across the country. So anywhere in America and the Virgin Islands in Puerto Rico, um, the, anybody can be referred. And so how we accelerate this, Willie, is we have a sweepstakes that actually begins Monday on January 8th. I guess I should say today, at the date of this recording is January 6th. Yeah, we dated the recording. 2024, <laughs> right, exactly. Um, so um, when that starts, we have what we call the matching prize sweepstakes. And you know how it can be when you're referring somebody sometimes well not sometimes we all have that crocodile brain and if i start talking to you about becoming a partner um some people might start thinking that's where the crocodile brain kicks in saying oh i've got to sell something i've got to be trained i've got to do all that so um and of course you know now in advance you don't need to do that right but if you do start talking that way to refer somebody they could resist you because they they already have a perception of you want to sell me something and you want me to sell something. Yeah, that, so, that's the beauty of, of this too is that I, I've done network marketing before. I've done with one company for um, twenty years, and and uh, there's like weekly or monthly meetings. There's all these meetings you have to attend, and all this training you have to go through. Yes, they don't do any of that now. No, no, none of that because this is what you're already doing. So the magic that I'm going to bring up is we have a matching prize sweepstakes that starts on Monday and it will be run nationally for anybody to enter. And it's called the who's your favorite merchant and why sweepstakes. So what what the members coming in is they're entering and they're coming in and they're doing like a review that, and, and, and or could be called a testimonial too of who their favorite merchant is and describe why and put some photos in whatever you may have experienced here. And so now you're entering that sweepstakes and I'm pro and you have a chance to win a gift card to that merchant, to your favorite merchant. If you happen to be a winner, I'm sure I'm not the first guy that ever thought of this Willie um, and as you know, I'm, you and I are both influencers. And so we have people that come to us and say, will you help me promote something? And I do that often. And But what I started to figure out is when I would do that for somebody that had a contest or a sweepstakes, it dawned on me one day that the more I refer and promote to a contest or sweepstakes, the more I'm actually decreasing my odds right. of winning anything. So what we did is we turned that on its head and we created what's called the matching prize sweepstakes. So there's just two of us here right now, but we can come up with a fictitious name or we'll just use Ellen's name. So if I refer you to this, the matching prize sweepstakes and you refer Ellen and you and I officially do not win, our names are not pulled out of the hat, but Ellen is... The way the matching prize works is, of course, Ellen wins the grand prize, but who referred Ellen? You did. So you win the same prize that Ellen gets, wins. And who referred you? I did. So I also received the same prize that Ellen received. Therefore, we all win. So what, what that means now is make sure to refer your family and friends because if they win, you win too. So now right. what you're doing is you're increasing your odds, but here's what happens when you're in that sweepstakes. You're not even saying anything about the partner. You're simply referring people all over America to the sweepstakes for a chance to win. And it's a matching price sweepstakes. And when you do that, they're becoming a free member at local city places and in the system, behind the scenes, they were referred by you in that sweepstakes. Therefore, they were also referred by you as becoming a member in the system. So when they choose to participate in the partner program, and most will because it's free and it's 
it's not obtrusive and you're already right. doing you're already doing what you're doing so it'll be fun in some cases willie for some people that don't really realize what's going on when a merchant comes aboard that they did a review on and i get to call them up and say i don't know if you know we had this free partner program but we do but you already have $19.80 coming from the $99 and I get to ask that magical question, would that be okay with you? Yeah. And of course, most people would smile and say, this is awesome. Let's, how, how did that happen? And then they realize subliminally, psychologically now, you take away those barriers and then they realize how that happened. And now they can just literally use this sweepstakes as the launching pad without ever saying partner, without ever trying to convince anybody to do anything, all they're doing is what they already do anyhow. Yeah. And that is, to me, that's the biggest part of the magic. And we don't, we don't see any other network marketing company or any opportunity similar to this that seems to be as magic as this. Because going back to saying there's no investment in products or services, there's no auto billing, there's no auto shipping, there's no recurring credit card charges, and the biggie, there's no selling. So uh, we take care of all of that on the back end, and then we report all of that in the dashboard. And as a matter of fact, I want to state this very clearly that, you know, we're never about income claims because everybody's going to have a different outcome. In fact, Willie, you've only been in our program just several weeks now and, and I have money in my account. Yeah, yes you do and and actually it's only been the last week that has really been super active and uh you can log into your partner portal and commission report and you see that you have several hundred dollars coming already for your activity so it's absolutely possible and you're a testimonial that you didn't you didn't have to invest any money any you business have to do that yes and you've already posted a couple of times you've already got members coming aboard and of course that will continue to happen because now you have members on several of those tiers that we've talked about and that will multiply and multiply and multiply and the other thing that i know you wanted me to mention was um you know, in the state of most people are living paycheck to paycheck. Um, one of the big ideas here is that we didn't want to pay this out monthly because we know that people, you know, get excited about programs, but they can't quite stretch to waiting on, you know, getting paid monthly. So we changed that as well. And so we turned the payments into like a weekly payroll. So all commissions that you have due through Friday of each week are then paid the following Friday by direct deposit. So you don't have to wait for a check in the mail. In fact, I can't remember the last time I even touched a check because everything's electronic now. Right. Um, but it's a weekly system. So once you get going, you get a drink of water much faster and you can go faster and and this supplements anything else that you may be doing we're not telling people you know stop what you're already doing because you can continue what you're doing because you already do this all of this activity so why not get paid for it at the same time right right so we're very excited about that. And I know there's a lot more details here. And I know you just wanted to, the community to start getting an idea of what's going on here. Right, right. And we're very excited to have you here because I know you're excited about this because the first time I told you about this, we not only speak to the member and 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 have a great solution for them in the industry where you know, let's face it, the world we live in now, many, many times the inhibitor and an opportunity is I don't have the money to do right. this. I want to do it, but I don't have I don't have the money. And it takes too much time, maybe. And here's a biggie. I got to get trained on something that I don't know how to do. And, you know, as humans, we all have this habit 
you know, it's the shiny object syndrome sounded great. I'm yeah. doing it. And then soon after, whatever that was is going to start finding its way to your closet shelf and it's going to start collecting dust. And it's going to be one of those things that I never did. So we believe we've brought the solution now for that because you're already doing this. All you need to do, the only one thing you need to do in addition to going to the car wash or the restaurant is join as a free member and come in and take a couple of minutes to do the review and submit it. And then, then it's done and let others know what you're doing and what they could be doing too. And that's simple because we're not selling in this regard. On the merchant side, we make it easy there too because we know what they've experienced. We know they've had bad experiences. We know at the end of the day, they just want something to work. They just want customers mm -hmm. through that door. And, you know, I, I brought up a dentist, Willie, and I don't know why I brought that up as the example, but but I will tell you, I've consulted with many dentists. And I say this with all kindness because it's true. Dentists are experts at fixing teeth and making them look good. They're not good marketers. And they need somebody like us right. to say, all I want is just more patients here to that need teeth uh, polishing or fixing or cleaning or whatever that is. So we bring that to the industry too. And that all starts with $1. It's better than risk-free. And we already know how to bring the traffic. So by the way, I'll make this other comment too, the matching prize sweepstakes. That goes very viral because it is matching. So hundreds and hundreds of people, thousands of people will come into that. And we're going to run that every 30 days then pick the, the prize winners, award that, and the next day start it again and keep Why on. Why would you not tell your social media friends or your friends and family, you know, about that? It's free, free money. It, it, it is. It, it, it is really free money. It is because it's what you're, it goes back to, it's what you're already doing. Right. And that to me is the magic. And that's why we're so excited about this. And as, as we mentioned, there's other ways to accelerate that. If, if you get into the free program and you absolutely love it, which we believe you will, and it's easy to do, if later you decide you want to accelerate that, that earning, there is a way to do that. It's called the super partner, and we'll talk about that at another time. But it's, I mean, if you look at the population in America, um, it's a little over what 330, 330 million or 340 million. Yeah. And so if we take that down to adults that are 18 years or older, it's it's going to go down a little bit. However, these people are all doing something on different intervals, but in their communities, they are visiting these merchants. They are doing business with these merchants. And so Willie, um I know you'll post with uh, this video your profile I will. page on um, local city places so that people can join. It's very easy to go to your profile page and click a button and it takes a couple of minutes and you can join free as a member. And then there's a robust dashboard, a member dashboard that they log into that is easy to navigate and they'll see their partner portal in there. And so they can just easily begin reviewing and and be on the way. And so with all of those ingredients, what we're doing is we're helping the partner to create what could be a sustainable income for them. And, and again, we're not into income claims, but there's no there's no limit on the width of each tier with the number of merchants. So actually, you know, for some, it could create a sustainable full-time income. And it really, it really is beach money because you didn't do anything but do the review. But once that's done, 
and that merchant stays here for life, for the life of that merchant, you will continue to get residual income from that merchant. So very exciting. And it's a way for somebody to enter into where at the beginning of the new year, Willie, you know, when everybody says, you know, what are your goals? What are your, you know, you hear a lot about weight loss and those types of things. I, yeah. I saw somebody say, uh, uh, I saw somebody say on, on Facebook and I forget who it was. And it says, somebody needs to calm down the, the hustle bros for the new year's resolution need to calm down a little bit because everybody does this at the beginning. Everybody does. And, and then very quickly they fall down the hill. Yeah. But this is one of those things that I won't fall down the hill because you're already out doing these things. And so it's a simple habit to create that after I've gone to a merchant, just simply do a review. And okay. that's, that's the rest of it. We, we, uh, we said this was anywhere in the United States and U.S. territories like uh, yes. the Virgin Islands and, and Puerto yes. Rico. Um, so if the person doesn't live in the United States, can they participate in this program? You know, they like, could. Uh, they an could but program. The, the people that they're referring would need to be U.S. based, of course. Right. Um, but yes, uh, you know, we know marketers, Willie, that you know, live outside the United States, but they have uh, a community, a tribe that is on their list that they live primarily in the United States. Right. Yes, that's absolutely possible. They could do that. Um, and it would just, you know, be simple, uh, might be a little bit different payment system. As you know, we just, we pay out with in the US, just like a payroll with an ACH system where they do right. a direct deposit might not be available in another country, but you know, you can wire money anywhere in the world now practically. So that would be a little bit different and they would have to cover the costs of that. But other than that, um, yes, they could participate and do that. And we do, we do have a fence around the United States right now. Um, people have asked, are we going to do other countries? We may. Um, however, going back to what I said about Yelp, when you study the countries they're in, the predominance of their business, 98% of it is in the United States and Canada. So right, right. now we want to get flat footed in the United States, at least this year, anyhow, and perhaps then we'll dip our toe and maybe go to Canada and, you know, other places. Um, the UK, this might be good too. Uh, I know merchants pretty much operate the same way. It's interesting because most people don't know that like London, England is, most people are amazed when they hear this the first time is actually bigger than New York City. It's bigger yeah. than our biggest city. So it's amazing. You, you um, just need to go through the airport at Gatwick or whatever and you'll yeah. see how big it is. Exactly. So yes. Uh, so somebody can do that. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Uh, the outside. I, I just knew that would be a nagging question to back of some people's minds. But if they want clarification on it, they would just reach out to us anyway. Yes, absolutely. And they can contact you because you're a, a super partner and you've got your profile page. And so that's where it all simply begins for them is they would just go to your profile page and click a button. And, and uh, I should clarify that both um, if a merchant wants to come aboard, they can also go to your profile page and click that button and become a merchant. And just for clarity, a merchant is also a member. It also starts there. It just happens to be they have a business. So there's members without a business, and then there's members with a business, which we call merchants. So they can both um, join from your profile page. And, right. it, and I'll, I'll link to my profile page wherever I share this video. Yes, and it, and it starts for free each place. And at the beginning of this call, we um, we talked about, you know, my first endeavor. Uh, I, I call this a modern day free yellow, Willie, because in 1997, as you know, you joined that. Um, we I, I built that platform freeyellow.com. That was actually a year before Google was actually born. And the reason it was called free yellow is we were bringing the merchants and businesses out of the physical yellow pages ah. 
and online. That's where the word yellow came from that. And um, it was amazing because in 10 months of the, the first 10 months, we had a million free websites. You were one of them. I didn't know yes. at the time. <laughs> yes. And lots of our other mutual friends I know were part of that as well. And it was a different day. And, you know, people would register domain names and things like that. And we had shopping carts that we helped them with because they wanted to sell something online. Um, so that's why I call local city places the modern day for yellow, because it's just an extension of that. We're in a different time. We're actually in a different century, I guess now. Yes, we are. <laughs> so uh, so that kind of puts that into perspective. But it's fun to do, and we have a lot of fun doing it and engaging communities, and we have the social aspect of it too. So I have a good outlook for local city places in this year. And I believe that local city places will rise up probably to at least the top 10 of local search and, and get into being a household name across the country. And I look forward to the beach money. Yes. The beach money. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. And yours, yours has already started. So it's, it's amazing how that works out. And like I said, I do keep on repeating this. It, you don't have to stop anything else you're doing. This, this can supplement anything else you're doing, but it's interesting when you get to that point where it's a sustainable full-time income, then you might say, hmm, maybe I don't need to do that other thing over there. Right, right. And, and I will tell you, you know, Willie, you and I were born in the same year and we're baby boomers. Uh, the other thing about this opportunity is I don't ever see businesses ever uh, stopping the need to advertise for more customers. So even after I pass this earth, um, I still see businesses coming to local city places to continue on. I, I just don't, you know, it's one of those things where, you know, certain products and services, Willie, sometimes they wear out and they get right. dated and then they're done. Something like this, I, you know, I'm not just saying that because I created the platform. I'm saying that look at the at the whole history of our time here. Businesses have always advertised and always wanted customers in the door, and so there's a big, big need for that. So I don't ever see this going away. It's um, what makes all the uh, the the mega corporate mega what do you call them tech companies. Their yes. money. I mean, Google and Facebook and all those, they bring customers to businesses. That's how they make their yes. money. Yes, they do. So, yeah, this is great, Willie. And we'll be visiting again. And um, every month that goes by, we'll have new members to engage and have fun with and present things to. So I'm looking forward to it. Yes, absolutely, Willie. Thank you very much. Thank you, Troy.